Alright, good evening guys. I got one for you tonight. Oh wow, got a little fishing out here. Look at this. There he is. Yes. Alright. They just keep on coming, don't they? No? <laughs> There's just me. I brought you good luck. Oh, Maybe. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Man. All right, keep it going. <laughs> All right. Canada chat. I got something for you. Obsidiary. Jer Bear. Rick, my man Rick. Uh, Ophelia. You're breaking my heart. Miss Bedlam. All right. You trivia players in Canada chat, I got one for you tonight. I'm out here in Hopewell, Hopewell Virginia, walking on the, uh, here at City Point, where we have the, uh, we have the Appomattox River over there, and then the James River over there, converging right here. And then this is the James River from here on out. But tonight, here, in Hopewell, hey guys. Yeah. yeah. We got one of your own Canadian legendary performing artist, Burton Cummings from Winnipeg. Formerly of the Guess Who, this is the 60th anniversary Best of the Guess Who, the Guess Who tour. Burton Cummings and his band live tonight in Hopewell, Virginia. And I'll, first, I'll tell you, we had a flood warning. Hopewell area was a major flood warning. Lady just told me that it is. It certainly was uh, flooded back there, and. We went anyway, it was raining a lot today, especially this morning, but Hopewell is about, you know, 35 miles, whatever, 35 miles from Richmond, Virginia. Took me a good 40, 45 minutes to get here. Good traffic, pretty easy sailing, good parking. And tonight, my first concert of 2024, now the last, time I was here was October of 2023 seeing Roger McGuinn of the birds and that was one that I've been wanting to really see for a while and I knew going in that it was just him as a just doing acoustic with he had four different guitars I filmed some of that if some of you want to watch that on the Frank Addington channel I have some of those clips out here but But this one, and so I give that one that concert like a C plus B minus. Uh, all right, boys, cutting it close here. It's about getting close to seven. The show starts at seven thirty, so I got to get in there pretty soon. So Mr. Met advised me to get the seat to the last minute thing, so I got a seat in the very top part of the balcony. It's not really nosebleed because it's it's fine. It's uh it's way up there, but. It'll be all right. And I did kind of uh, scout out and see which seats were not sold. And I'm in K6, by the way, if you guys want to come stalk me. So it's uh, the very top. And that's cool. I was in the balcony at the McGuinn concert, but I was, I was lower down. It's not like a huge theater. It's an old theater. Real cramped seats and, you know, real old school city. But, you know, you should be fine. And so, again, I give that McGuinn show like a, a C plus, B minus, because it wasn't a full band. It would have been a lot better if they had a full band. But I knew that going in, and I still liked it. For this one, it's, it's technically, it's called Burton Cummings and His Band. And I think this is going to be 
Let me just preface this by saying I've never, I have a lot of records and CDs, I've never in my life owned anything Burton Cummings related solo or the Guess Who ever. I don't dislike them, I've just never cared about them, but I've seen clips of recent shows online and he looks like a good performer and because he's got the full band I think that my expectations are pretty high for this if it was just him like solo doing a like acoustic guitar I would not be here tonight boys but so I'm gonna talk I'm gonna say most of the stuff before I get in but I'm in kind of a hurry now out here on the city point walk my aunt and uncle came through and in June and they went through Hopewell. It was really hot and, I, and they were, before they went to Hopewell I advised them. I said you need to go to this this place here with the river walk and they did it and they had pictures and stuff so it's really cool but all right I'll show you the what it looks like here. It looks pretty calm without the flood. I mean without the uh, this has started kind of receding. It's not like doesn't look bad or anything, but I've got, my man just caught another fish. All right, so I'm gonna go up to this other dock quickly before I go into the Beacon Theater. The Beacon Theater is the name of the theater, guys. It's not, not the one in New York, <laughs> but it's got another one. There we go. This other dock over here got kind of look at this view guys it's beautiful right there that looks really nice oh my gosh all right boys so i did scout out and see try to see if i could find which seats were not sold now they, they could still be sold at the gate but they closed the they closed it the sales online but i think it's like the third or fourth row from the front uh, D or E um, 103 so I'm gonna be looking down there when I get up there to see if anyone got it and if there's an intermission I hope there's an intermission tonight or a piss break and then I'm gonna maybe try to see if I can sneak to that seat down there but if I don't I don't care it's all good but right here I gotta be careful not to slip in that's so loud it is. wow Wow, you guys are you guys are brave out here, man. Yeah, what's the uh, net for? Uh, for for baseball Oh, okay. Nice. Man, y'all are awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's the actual city point over that way, and. Yeah, I've showed you all this before, but look at this, guys. Look at this. Water came up, and I just gotta be careful not to slip and bust my tail. Look at that, guys. I'm leaving the city park here. It shouldn't take that long to. But this is like the little beach type area over here to my left, as you'll see. All right, hey guys. Hey there. Hey. All right, so this little beach area, she said it washed up. No lifeguard on duty. So, all right, getting kind of dark. And hope you guys like that, like this video, uh, Canada chat, and of course, NFL and trivia chat. Hope you guys are enjoying trivia tonight. Gabby Arrow won a sweep earlier and then the second game was an Andy comeback and a duck choke duck stormed off the stormed out of the room like Bill Belichick after he lost Super Bowl 42 not shaking hands but you know chokes have been to the best and gate the doors open at 6 30 right now it is and the show starts at 7 30 Right now it is 7.05, so cutting it pretty close, boys. Cutting it pretty close. All right, and then here's the 
you can see it right here you can see the sign from the park just give you an idea how far away I am from the from the place it's pretty cool I never noticed this I didn't notice this last time I don't know if you guys can see that the beacon right there okay so I'm gonna start another video and film once I get in all right I'm gonna take a little portalette break here so I'm not gonna have much time to film like the interior of before you get in I did film some of it last year but I do want to hopefully if there's an intermission I'll do do some of that like the people and stuff but I'm pretty sure that there's a no pictures and videos policy so I'm I will be able to get some audio for you guys some of the music but I, I don't think I'm gonna get any video of this um, I, there's very little video available this tour online I think that's why because it's been the theaters are Burton doesn't want people doing that so all right so I'll film once I get in do a separate video or film going in and then it's always fun to hang out with the uh, with the pasty boomers I love it and be be sure that by the end of tonight there will be quite a few 68 year old boomers who are gonna be excited and in their element feeling it and wanting a piece and a slice of the good general you can guarantee you can bet that boys all right guys see you in there <laughs> 